What is going on YouTube? DevCode here. Today I'm going to be doing a new YouTube series that's going to be based around building a programming language. Although this has been done before, my YouTube series is going to be focused on building a programming language from scratch. There are already videos out there on YouTube that teach you how to build a programming language, but they don't go into detail. And not only that, they're not complete. So if you want to build a compiler, if you want to learn how to build a virtual machine, and or if you want to learn how to build a completely fully functional programming language like Java, stick around. So when it comes to building a programming language, there are a few prerequisites that you're going to need to have for this video. Everything else I will include links in the video description so you can check them out. Really there are only two main prerequisites you really need to know to successfully follow this series and that is knowing how to operate github using the console and or GUI and the language C++. So to give you guys some examples I've actually created my own programming language that I will show you what we'll be basing this new language off of. The programming language I've developed is called Sharp. Here's the project for my programming language called Sharp. It's in the same repository as the one we're going to be working on, but it's in a different branch. The branch we're going to be working from is called the Remastered branch, which is going to be a cloned version of the programming language that I've already built for you guys. To give you an example, I'm going to create a new file here, a Sharp file, and it's going to be called main dot sharp something simple Don't add it to github that's fine um, now we're going to start writing out the syntax for sharp so I'm just gonna write out some code for you guys and explain what all of it does and means once I'm done alright so now we have our program our sample program it's just a basic hello world program I'm not going to go too into detail about the mechanics of how this works. That will all be covered in a later episode. But to get the general idea, this looks kind of like, this looks somewhat similar to Java, where you have your public, public static main function, which takes a parameter of strings that's passed in as the program arguments, and it returns an integer. Now in Java your function would just return void but in this case it returns a var or in my programming language var is just a variable, an integer of some sort. So and then down here we have our simple hello world from our system class and then we return zero. Zero means OK or success. So now if we run this program we can see the output. First though, before we actually run this program, we actually have to compile it. So if we go up here and hit the run configuration called debug, that's going to take this file and compile it. Alright, so we have zero errors and 10 files succeeded and zero files failed, which means this was successfully outputted. Now if we go in here and we look at the run configuration for debug, we can see that it outputs a file called factorial, which I'm going to actually rename this main. So now if we rerun this, we should get a success response. And now if we go to Odyssey bin, we have a main folder. And this is just a bunch of Once this file is generated, you get this as the output executable with some source code at the bottom. Now we're actually ready to run our program. So if we go up here and we type, and we go to VM Sharp, which is a virtual machine.
We then type our executable into the program arguments for our virtual machine. Click OK. And click Run. And there we go. Hello world. So I just wanted to give you guys an introduction to my programming language Sharp and the video series that I'm going to be doing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'm definitely looking forward to starting the series with you guys. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.